we have the Fugitive Toys exclusive of Wonder Woman, the Metallic Star Sapphire. Yeah, she's number 61 from the Pop Heroes collection. Um, as you all may know, she is a Fugitive Toys exclusive from New York City Comic Con 2014. Uh, we got really lucky with our F-Box, and I, we got the metallic version. Uh, we've been seeing everybody get the regular version. Yeah, the, the pink color. This is more of like a, a shiny fuchsia. I like yeah. this color much better than the pink color that I've been seeing through pictures. Yeah, same here. Yeah, somebody kind of spilled the beans to me and told me it was the, uh, the F-Box got the regular version. But when we opened it, I was so shocked to see that we had gotten the metallic one. Which was yeah, I was, I was really happy. And, you know, we're, we're glad to have her. And we did pre-order the other ones. Uh, so we'll actually get all of them. But um, we really like the metallic version. The metallic paint is really nice on it. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into some detailed looks of her. All right. So here's Star Sapphire up close. Um, as you can see, she has a completely different outfit as her normal Wonder Woman suit. I love how they did it. The fuchsia and the gold look really good together. Yeah. She's got new boots, and um, besides from her, her little bracelets, she's got like some pink going up her arm. Yeah. And I really love her cute little pink earrings she's got. Mm -hmm. I think that she looks really good. Um, the paint job, this is probably the best metallic paint job I've seen on any Funko Pop, to be honest. Uh, usually they're, they look good, but they're pretty sloppy like the edges are really you know frayed out or they're a lot of overspray or you know anything like that it it just looks it just looks like it, it was rushed almost on a lot of the metallic pieces she looks really good i love her her little little lasso in her hand too that looks really nice yeah the lasso is really cool uh, overall i think her her whole costume is or, or outfit it looks looks really nice um I don't really care for the regular Wonder Woman too much, but definitely when we saw her, we kind of freaked out and we're like, man, we have to have this Wonder Woman in our collection. She looks really awesome. Yeah, her hair even looks a little different in this version. Yeah. In the, we don't have Wonder Woman ourselves, but in the pictures that we've seen online, her hair cuts off at the shoulder, looks yeah. shorter. I really love her with the long hair look. Yeah, it looks really good. It's all flippy and stuff like that. The sculpt they did for it is really nice and uh. You know, we've seen the Wonder Woman's in stores and even online, and, and you know, you can kind of tell from the box her hair does look a tad bit shorter as in the normal version. But yeah, I think the overall the sculpt on her on her hair looks really nice on this pop. It, it definitely stands out to me. So, like we've already said, her paint job is nearly perfect. I love the way she looks. The only thing that could be wrong with her at all is just her earring right here. There's a little bit of silver on it, and yeah. some of it got on the tip of her hair. It doesn't quite look like the one on her other side. Yeah, the other side silver is... silver line through it. The other side, yeah, just little things, but... And overall, it's, it's very, very strange for us to not have too many bad things to say about a pop when it comes to the paint. Because uh, usually there's quite a few flaws, but, I mean, really, the flaws that are on her are literally her two earrings, and that's all. Um, I thought in pictures I saw for sure that there would be some you know metallic paint on the little abs that she has there but the lines are so clean on this pop when, mm -hmm. when it comes to the paint job and it's it's really refreshing okay as you can see guys uh, something that's pretty big news that Funko hasn't even announced yet but here it is number 64 Bizarro he is officially slash unofficially announced um, we think that he looks really, really awesome. I really can't wait to see what he looks like in the pop. Yeah, all the customs we've seen, you know, everybody's just done a repaint of Superman and everything like that. I was hoping Funko wasn't going to do the cheap route, I guess you could say. And it looks like they definitely haven't. They changed up the hair, uh, all new face sculpt. You know, he has his little tag around his neck, Bizarro number one. And then also another side note, Deathstroke. He gets his spot on a box finally. So two new slash... You know, I guess Deathstroke's not new, but, you know, Bizarro gets added on there. Looks really, really cool. Can't wait for him. No release date yet, I don't think. Um, but yeah, anyways, just a quick little tidbit that many might have not have seen so far. So, as you can probably hear, it's raining outside. Welcome to Florida. Yeah, we tend to have that problem here. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. It's just, sorry. <laughs> But anyways, this wraps up our pop vinyl review of Star Sapphire Wonder Woman being Fusion of Toys exclusive.
this. Yeah, so we're really happy to have her part of our collection. Um, she's a fantastic pop. There's really nothing bad to say about her. Um, I love her. Yeah, there's, there's, she definitely lived up to the hype. That's all I could really say about her. Everybody was going crazy when the images were first leaked, and definitely Funko knocked it out of the park on this one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that just about does it. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and be sure to check out popvinyl.net for all of your Funko Pop news. We'll leave a link for that down in the description below. So, yeah, without further ado, see you later, guys.